On September 12th, the Pepperdine community takes a part in Step Forward Day. This is a day for students and faculty to get involved and serve the communities around them in Southern California. So we went to Koreatown, and our task was to maintain these trees that have been planted in the past years and also plant some new ones. I think the main thing is sometimes when you're really busy, it's easy to be like, oh no, I don't have time to serve. Like, this doesn't sound like fun. I need to study for my test. But mainly once you just get yourself out there, and it's a lot of fun, and it's really rewarding, and it's really enjoyable. So today we're at Faith in Christ Ministry, and we're really excited because soon we're gonna have like hopefully over 20 kids showing up, and we're doing solar car races with them outside. And right now we're just setting up tents and like figuring out with the books how we're gonna put the cars together. So hopefully I won't fail the child I'm hoping, but. I'm really excited and it's like a really neat area down here and it seems like they have a really great community here and just really interested in investing in their kids and helping them grow up and kind of giving them a hope for the future. This artwork on the outside, our oldest son, he's, he's the prep of the, or the urban artist. That's what I call it, urban <laughs> So he did this side of the building and... Did he do the ones by the playground too? The one, the mural, yeah. he did. Wow. Yeah. God has used Faith in Christ Ministries I think to show the world that when he wants something done, he can do it however he wants to do it. I think hearing her testimony for me really realized how you don't have to go to another country to be able to serve. You can just go right into your community. It really inspires me um, as I'm trying to plan out my college decisions and just knowing that she committed her life um, to following God's plan. It was so fun. You just out in the community with your friends serving and it was such an awesome opportunity. It's easy to do something like this once when it's set up like this and just check it off your list for the year, but the main thing is moving forward, continuing to serve the community and do as much as you can. I think a lot of people can get wrapped up already in just like the amount of homework we have and there's a lot of other things that we could be doing, so I think it's really neat that we have a student body who wants to do that and it has like a strong desire to serve. Um, I want to get involved with the Skid Row. Um, I know that oh, they go cool. out quite often. Yeah. And they have other opportunities too. Yeah. So. I definitely like to find something, whether that be something that's already established in a relationship that's already established or kind of paving my own through the Volunteer Center and kind of getting Pepperdine connected with something that I might be passionate about that someone else might be passionate about too. I basically just wanted to run for student government because it's something I've kind of been involved in since like sixth grade, just like being part of like the leadership program and stuff like that. And it kind of like works with my major of like business and leadership and communication kind of go hand in hand together. This would be like the perfect fit of like something to get into for freshman year. I kind of went with the whole like beach theme since it's our first year in Malibu. I'm hanging up my last few flyers here. It's almost like the end of the campaign journey. There are like so many emotions and like thoughts running through my head, so I don't really like know what to think the day of the elections. Good thing I don't have classes on Wednesdays because I'd probably be like totally out of it. But um, yeah, on like Thursday when like voting closes, I think that day like is gonna be really weird for me. Since the forward day, I've learned more about Pepperdine's emphasis on volunteering, and I really just want to figure out if occupational therapy is really what I want to do. So I'm hoping to kind of find a place near Malibu that I'll be able to kind of volunteer at, maybe also get some work experience at the same time while still like, investing in our community and figuring out different ways to get more involved. Hello, Hi. welcome to the Volunteer Center. Thanks. I'm Michaela. Caitlin. Hi Caitlin, nice so good to meet you. How's your day going? Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> cool. So you're interested in volunteering? Yeah, I'm hoping to do something like related to occupational therapy or working with kids with special needs. So okay. I didn't know what was available yeah. in that way. Awesome. So it sounds like you are interested um, in the issue area of health and wellness. Um, and so, yeah, there listed are all the different nonprofits that we go and serve with on a weekly basis. Um, and so one that I volunteered with consistently is called Hand in Hand, and they meet at the Malibu Jewish Center. And it's a program 
um, basically connecting young adults who have special needs with friends who are their own age. Yeah, lots of good things. Um, so hand in hand would be really cool. That one's on Thursday afternoons. And so um, you can go on pepperdine.edu slash volunteer center slash calendar and sign up for that opportunity or for any others. Cool. So that would be, so it's all on the website and I should just look, yeah. just kind of based on what I have class. Yeah, and it's definitely easiest good to like see it on the website and just see all the different times. Okay. And, yeah. Awesome. Yes. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate awesome. it. Of course. So nice to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. So since my visit to the PVC, um, I'm still really interested in exploring different things regarding occupational therapy, and I know hand in hand was a good option, but unfortunately it's not really working with my schedule this semester, so I'll definitely keep that in mind as I'm kind of planning out what I'm gonna be taking next semester and in the following years. The elections ended last week and I won the position of freshman senator. Today we're actually having our first meeting here in the conference room. We got emailed the resolutions last night, so we're going to be deciding whether or not we are going to give $10,000 of our general fund to the student programming board. Uphold the constitution of Seaver College. Uphold the constitution of Seaver College. Pepperdine University Student Government Association. Pepperdine University Student Government Association. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. It kind of happens every year where we give this sum of money to the student board because it's Blue and Orange Madness is kind of a big deal. So um, we knew it was going to be a large amount of money, but we also knew that the student board was paying much more for it than we were. So that was kind of like the discussion on whether or not like we should have had like representation on the shirt as well. What we can do is make it make this resolution contingent upon us being included in those sort of promotional advertisements for students to come to Blue and Orange Madness. In my opinion, just handing out shirts doesn't necessarily like show that like we paid for them. That SGA is already going to be there passing out the shirts. People will know that we're involved with the activity, and we've been involved with the activity in the past. And the fact that a majority of the funds are coming from the board already means that this is kind of their event. And what Ed was saying a while ago, how like we're already going to be showing our faces there, and if we just put our logo on everything that we're involved in, that's a lot of things. So just the fact that we're already there, like presenting ourselves, shows that we're being involved in this. We were almost about to table the bill and not do anything with it, which would have been bad because they kind of needed their shirts like right away, so we couldn't do that. So we kind of came to the decision that we would let them decide however they wanted to represent us, whether that be a small way or a large way, and they decided to put us on the back of the shirt too. This is Chance checking in. This is my friend Jolie. Say hi, Jolie. Hi. hi. And what we're doing right now is we're walking two waves of flags, and I'll tell you what that's about really quick. Waves of flags are basically um, it's commemorating all the lives that were lost uh, during the 9-11 incident as well as the countries that lost lives there. So what we do is we go to Alumni Park and we help put flags um, around the border and uh, those commemorated the lives that we uh, cherish. Really what we, take, we do is we just take time to sit there and um, recollect, uh, think, ponder, and um, pray. We never forget these flags these lives, these souls that are lost. But we can strive from here on out to try to make the world a better place, one act of service at a time. From the smallest act of planting a tree, uh, to using your talents to impact the places that you live, or exploring your vocation through formal programs. I'm thankful to be at a school like Pepperdine, where service isn't just a suggestion, but an important part of our first weeks here on campus. Step forward day, waves of flags, it definitely instilled within me the desire to strive for something bigger.